It's too early to determine how long the remains have been on scene, and we do not have a determination as to the sex or the race or any details surrounding the remains. Now, there are no missing persons cases in Halton right now, and police say number 20 side road will likely remain closed tonight and for most of tomorrow while they continue their investigation. And police have now identified the body found north of Milton we first told you about last night at 11. A 32-year-old Toronto man who went missing almost two weeks ago is the victim, and sources tell us Garfield Steele's body was found stuffed in a barrel. Cindy Chordash has more details. Garfield Steele was just 32 years old. The Toronto man was last seen November 3rd, a week later reported missing by his family. People walking down 20 Side Road in Asagawea near 6th Line discovered something suspicious and called police Monday afternoon. At least someone had the conscience uh, to actually uh, report it as opposed to just walking by. And I think that's a rural community that, uh, you know, kind of still looks out for each other. People who live nearby say it's happened before. In fact, Heather Garrett says she's had two bodies discovered near her residence in her lifetime, and that's enough. Honestly, I look in the ditches every day when I'm walking the dog, not really very surprised. This is kind of a, an area that could be a dumping ground. A viewer called CHCH News to say they've seen an out-of-place barrel sitting by the road for two weeks. Police would not confirm if Steele's remains were found inside the barrel. Gary Grasser, a resident who's lived in this area for 16 years, says from what he can remember, this is the fourth body police have discovered in the area since he's lived here. Some, I think, are unsolved yet. Uh, they found bodies. Some of the police didn't say nothing. There was nothing in the paper. So we just let it go. Well, a little uneasy. You keep the doors locked at night and make sure you have a big dog. Police are trying to find clues, clues to how Garfield Steele ended up here. Our uh, uh, officers are up there searching the immediate area and expanding that search uh, for any evidence. Uh, so that has to take place, and I'm sure they'll hold the scene at least the rest of the day, if not into tomorrow. Residents say they're disturbed and uncomfortable, especially since the killer is still out there. Cindy Chordash, CHCH News, Nasagawea Township.